Hello and welcome to program 34 in this series of programs and tutorials that focus on TradeStation Easy Language. If you're looking at this at YouTube, you probably would also be interested to visit our website, which is markplex.com. That's M A R K P L E X.com, where there are a large number of free tutorials and also programs available for download. So, program 34 is actually a collection of three programs an indicator and two show me studies. And the basic methodology behind all three programs is to do what I've called a markplex block analysis. So what the program does is it calculates a block size based on a multiple of average true range. And then essentially it sees how many of those blocks, if any, fit within a b each bar as it is formed. And then using that information, it draws the lines, as you can see on the chart here, with the idea of trying to get an idea of trend direction. So you'll notice that, for example, in this case, we're applied to a, a euro dollar 600 tick. That, uh, that the program is saying the general direction is bearish, but you'll notice that price action does go quite a bit above the, the level of this line. But the program still determines that we, uh, we've got a sort of downward direction. And uh, you can see a similar thing here when we're in a upward trend, but you'll see the price goes above and then below the line, but we keep it at that line. So let me just show you each program in turn got all three applied to this chart at the moment. I'm just going to turn off the show me studies. So now you can just see the indicator. And if you want to know the exact way the program works, then if you do decide to uh, to get the program, you can, uh, the source code is unprotected. You can look at the calculation within the program. So this is the indicator. The first show me study Let's just uh, turn off the indicator now and turn on the show me study. What this does is plots dots at the point where the program is determining that the direction has changed. In fact, it's actually plotting them at the previous level. Um, so this green dot would apply to the bar there and uh, and similarly for the for the red dot so that's indicating when the direction has changed and if we just add back the indicator you'll see what i mean so for example you'll see that we've changed direction here so what i've done i've drawn the green dot just at the the uh, level of the previous red line so that is the uh, the indicator and the first show me study now the second show me study uses the data from when we go from effectively when we go from green to red and tries to calculate support and resistance lines so what I'm going to do is just apply that to or rather turn the status of that to on and I'll just go through how you would go about setting this up okay so the, what, what this does is every time there is a change in direction the program looks at the level uh, that we've just been in and compares that to other levels in an array. And if there is one which is a user-defined tolerance of an existing line, then it effectively combines them and increases the weighting of that line, similar to some other programs that I've created. So just to give you some ideas of how you would go about setting this up, first thing to do is make sure that you've got uh, a reasonable number of bars loaded on the chart because this is doing it an historic analysis of previous bars so if you don't have any bars it hasn't got any data to go on so in this case 600 tick bar I've got two months back of data the next thing to do is look at the inputs and what I suggest is start with a reasonable large size array now this is determined by the number turning points got this set at 200 you can have maximum of 500 so start by setting that as as high you can reduce it as we go along the combined value now this needs to be a sensible value so um, this is a multiple of the minimum move for a particular uh, commodity or stock or foreign exchange symbol and in this case the the euro dollar this goes to five decimal places so I've made this a hundred times the tick value and then line sensitivity this filters out lines that 
have a weighting below a certain amount. So this is just showing the lines with a line sensitivity of four or above. When you first apply this to the chart, make this fairly low, maybe set it as zero. And uh, you'll see now we'll probably get a lot of lines. And then what you should do is gradually increase it so that you're just seeing the, the ones that have got the greater weighting. So if we set that to one, you'll see some of those lines disappear and uh, two some more of them disappear and so on and then I think I had it set at four so with programs similar to this often I get people who buy the program and then email me and say well it's not looking like it did in uh, the images on your page well the reason for that is you do have to understand these settings and set them up appropriately for whatever symbol you're looking at. Show co co COMB lines, this just determines whether we see those lines or not. And uh, combine color, this is, uh, I've set it to white, just make sure that you've got a color that complements the background that you're using. Okay, so these programs do work on various different symbols. I've got it here at a mini DAO um, 60 minute and also got it here set on a e-mini daily bar and you can see that the program is functioning on this symbol and this time frame as well so anyway as I say I'm going to make all three programs available for download as a package and uh, you can find out more about those about the programs at markplex.com that's m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x thank you